what's up people so we're back with another video i hope you all do have a good weekend and stay safe now this one that i'm bringing to you all today was not planned but due to the fact that i did watch a few videos and i seen people speaking on it you know your boy had to come with the knowledge and the facts to what he knows and the truth so this one is all about what happens to sex offenders in prison so let's get into it so there is a stigma that you know when sex offenders go to prison that they get beaten up yes they do get beaten up if they go to a mainstream wing which is a very unlikely you know thing to happen due to the fact of their offenses if it's pedophile or you know sex offenders sex offenders they all go to protective custody because they're feared for their life now when they go to protective custody as far as i know to my knowledge because i've never been there as i know you do get certain people that go to protective custody because you know they have other problems with other people so if you get someone like that that is in protective custody and they don't agree to what you know the other people are in there for then yes they will get beaten up and you know that's the way it goes but nowadays you do not get sex offenders on you know general wings nowadays as just due to the fact of their you know their offenses and people don't tolerate that now yes they can go onto the wing if they want to but they know it's going to be nothing but you know a nightmare for them which it should be damn right it, you know it should be but therefore they swerve it now when you're in prison you don't see them at all unless they are passing on route and when i was working in the kitchen that was one time when i seen all of them you know moving on route before me and we were finishing in the kitchen going up on our wing to eat and these people were getting to move before us so therefore you know your boy had an opinion and i was outraged by this and the, the screw turned around and said to me oh shut the fuck up uh, if you don't shut up you we're gonna be last to go anyway and i turned around and said to him look we're fucking last to go anyway because these fucking dirty people are going in front of us what the fuck like that's do you not have kids so therefore a hundred percent when you're in prison you will not see any of those dirty people in there to you know do whatever you want to them to you know give what they should get anyway do you get what i'm saying but with that being said inside of you know the prison system 10 years ago i suppose there were more well they were more less controlled to where it, there was protective custody and so forth so prisoners were more able to get a hold of them now the only thing that i could see how they could really have a shit time in prison is if you know the screws the bosses themselves actually give them a hard time which i'm sure a lot of them do because they have kids and even if they don't have kids they don't agree to that stuff so you know therefore i'm sure they don't exactly treat them the best even though they're supposed to put their feelings aside and so forth which i don't think i could do and therefore i know for a fact they do what they do but you know back in the days what I was getting told in prison, what you was able to do with, you know, the tea bags and so forth, the prisoners used to make it up for, you know, the, the, the sex offenders or the people in protective custody and, you know, the prisoners used to fuck about and do God knows what to it for them. So therefore, they stopped letting the prisoners make up, you know, the, the protective custodies, bits and pieces, and it's all done from someone in the prison system. Now, like I said, I don't agree with none of these sex offenders or pedophiles or none of that, you know, but it is crazy to how many people are actually walking out of the court systems nowadays on community service. It's like, you know, I was saying this to a subscriber earlier on, so shout out to you, you know who you are, and a few other people. When I was getting sentenced that day, there was four other pedophiles in front of me and every single one of them got nothing but community service and then when it came to me what did i get the book and everyone else behind me that wasn't you know a pedophile got the book so 100 percent, the system is corrupt you do have a lot of judges that will allow these pedophiles to get light sentence or to get community service due to the fact that you know they get to you know review all of these evidence by themselves and so forth and you know it, shit runs deep so i hope you all do enjoyed stay safe stay out of prison stay out of the streets people and i'll catch you on the next one peace to you all